In July 2021, I posted a video sharing an easy way to trap aphids and weevils in Grounded. That video is one of the most watched on my channel. A few months later, people reported that it had stopped working, so I modified it using crow feather roos instead of clover roos and posted an updated video in November 2021. Recently, I've had people say the original trap was working again, so I decided to test both to see if they both work. In this video, I'll show you the results as well as sharing an even easier way to attract a ton of weevils. Before we begin, I want to thank Handsome Ivan, Lyndon Dade, Matthew Campbell, Stephen Van, The Overseer91, and all my other channel members for helping make videos like this possible. Click the join button below or the link in the description to become a channel member today. Thanks again to all my channel members, let's get started. So for this video, what I did was I recreated both of the aphid and weevil traps. The one on the left is going to be using the clover roofs, and the one on the right is going to be using the crow feather roofs. Basically how this works is you just build a 3x3 three three on each side, so you have 9 tiles in the middle here. I usually put a table in the middle and that's where I'm going to put the plant slurry for aphids and just regular mushrooms. I'm going to drop those for weevils. You can also drop the mushroom slurry if you want to. You can put them on the pedestals here or the, excuse me, the pillars, but I just put them on the table here because it looks nicer. And what basically is going to happen is you're going to see that the aphids and weevils should walk into both of these if they're still working properly. And over here, we have one that's the exact same size, except this one's made out of crow feathers. And like I said, this one was the original and this one worked perfectly fine. At one point it stopped working and I removed the walls that were behind it because I did put walls behind, uh, like the half walls behind here to prevent the aphids and weevils from getting stuck in these corners. It makes it easier to kill them. But I decided to take those out because at one point it stopped working because of that. Later on, they just stopped walking up the clover uh, roofs and they would just go up to the top and then turn around and walk back down. So then I modified it and used the feather roofs. That's what we have here. These are obviously way more expensive. So what we're trying to see is if this one works again, because that's far more efficient and, to, and easy to build, especially early on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place down a mushroom and plants, a mushroom on one, each one of these and a plant star on each one of these. I'm gonna run up to my little uh, uh, viewing tower up there. And I'm going to go to sleep so that it simulate like, just skips ahead of the day pretty quickly and we'll see how many are in there. And then what I'll do is I will basically just time lapse the rest of a day and show exactly how many are there in there at the end of one in-game day. So right now it is exactly midnight, which is perfect. We're going to show the save here. So just to show you, this is a newer save. This save is only eight days old. It is not a archaic save that I created long, long ago. It only has eight in-game days. I do use it for recording videos over uh, periodically but does not have a ton of time and as you and I also have done nothing in the game because you'll see that up in the top left corner are going to be quests like I have not even investigated the mysterious machine I basically just jumped in here and started building stuff for videos so what we're going to do now is we're going to place down the plant slurry and the mushroom and then we're going to run up to our tower go to sleep I have a bed up there wake up see how many are down here in the morning and then we will just let the video time lapse ahead through till midnight of the next day and see exactly how many we've gotten one day now I'm not sure how many we're gonna get on the first day but let's just see how many we get All right, so we've just placed them and as you can see before I even went to sleep we already have an aphid in there so that means that one's working but what I want to do is I'm going to go to sleep see how many are in there in the morning and then we will check back in so it'll be about 8 a.m. in the morning hopefully we don't fall off our viewing tower up here so let's see so overnight did not get many we only got it doesn't look like we got any more so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the video sit here and we're just going to record and and I will start the video back up once we get over, once we get till midnight, and as you can see, we do have an aphid walking in the one on the right, so it is definitely attracting aphids. Let's see how many attracts of each one of them, and we will. I will jump back in after we get to the end of the video.
We're jumping back in. It's about 20 hours after I originally put the food down. And as you can see, we have quite a few enemies in each one or quite a few of each. So we have three weevils over here, a couple aphids. Looks like lots of aphids actually on this side. And probably over here, there are some weevils over here, which is interesting. So they're still alive. I did see the red ant in there because I did leave and come back. And you can see these both traps are basically working. So basically both of them are working. The only thing you have to worry about with these traps is going to be the fact that if red ants get in here and they can get to the weevils, they're going to kill them. So you do have to monitor them periodically. But I mean, to be completely honest, if you just want to get a lot of weevil meat, a lot of aphid meat, you could just do this. If you just want to get an easy aphid pet, you could just put the plant starry in here, get some aphids in here, and then just have a, drop some plant starry down, leave one of them alone, and that'll be your easy pet. So as you can see, they both work. They both are getting on. This is after one day. And like I said, before I started recording the video, I did walk around. I did go in and basically probably kill five or six weevils and aphids in each one of them. So this is a decent chunk for one day. So your day, it'll probably vary depending on the day, but this is going to be easy aphids and weevils. So one other thing I wanted to show real quick was and a super easy way to get lots of weevils. So I hopped over to my main survival world. And as you're going to see, I'm over here by the oak tree. Basically what I do here is I drop mushrooms just over here on the rocks and it will attract weevils. Now, right now there's not a ton of them because I think I came over here recently and probably got rid of most of them. What ends up happening is specifically like in the mornings, you'll see lots of weevils over here. Of course, the ants will come over. Unfortunately, the ant hem totems did not keep the ants away. But dropping the mushrooms over here will just attract weevils. You can already see there's three of them right here. I just loaded into this world or just came over here. There's four of them now. And basically, they try to eat the mushrooms, but they won't. So if you want to get tons of weevils, you can just drop down a couple mushrooms somewhere on the map. One thing I want to recommend if you do use this strategy is do not do this near wherever you're building a base. I made the mistake of dropping them in one of the footprints over by the Mysterious Machine where I had my main base on this world at one point. And what ended up happening was there were so many of them and so many ants trying to kill them that I was getting massive frame drops. So I would definitely recommend not doing this anywhere near where you have a major base. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you want to support the channel even more, click the join card on the screen right now. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.